In this episode, we're going to talk about screen size and screen layout. Sign Builder allows for multiple types of configurations. You can go anywhere from full screen to subdividing your screen. Because you can subdivide your screen and show different content, you will want to look at the location of the screen, the physical size of the screen, and how far away you want the viewer to be able to see or read the content that is displayed. These are decisions you'll have to make in deciding on how to build your, your signage. Televisions you buy today are mostly either Full HD or 4K, in which case both televisions actually have a different resolution. Full HD is 1920 by 1080, 4K is 3840 by 2160. Because you are presenting to a TV from a computer device, you may have to find the setting on the TV that deals with overscaling. Another name for overscaling is called aspect ratio. Overscaling is when the picture displayed is bigger than the screen size. Some manufacturers call this pixel to pixel, others call it scale to fit or screen fit. Oftentimes you can find the setting on your remote. Now that we talked briefly about TV screens, let's look at the devices that connect to these screens. For the most part, people are either using the ASUS Chrome Bit or a Chrome Box of some type. Either way, both of these devices are managed within the domain. Some other key points to remember on devices might be the resolution each is capable of. Yesterday's Chrome Bit and Chrome Boxes could only do full HD. Today's Chrome Boxes are capable of carrying 4K content. One of the last things to remember is that if you're new to purchasing Chrome devices, you might also want to consider looking at the Chrome end of life policies to ensure you get the longest length out of a supported device that you're purchasing. Let's now move on to the signage itself. When you launch Chrome Sign Builder, the intent is to schedule content. As we said earlier in the video, when you schedule content, you can also schedule for different locations on the screen. As you can see from the current preview window, I have two shows scheduled. Let's take a look at them. There's the pink show and the blue show. I have nothing scheduled down in the other corner. While it doesn't display properly in the preview window, it does display properly on the TV screen. Just want you to be aware of that. So what is the critical information about these shows? Let's first look at the pink show. In Sign Builder, we have it scheduled this way in the upper left and the size is 50% by 50% of the screen. Now if we were to look at the show itself we'll see under page setup that our show is by default 16 by 9. If we wanted to see what that was in pixels we come here and we find out that it's 960 by 540. It is exactly one half in both directions, which is the 50 by 50% that we see on the screen. Because we are doing 50% by 50%, no tweaking on the page setup is required for us in the slideshow itself. Now let's take a look at our other show, which is running down the full right side of the screen. Its size is defined as 50% of the screen by 100% of the length of the screen. So for this show, we have to change the page setup option to reflect this. And here we are for this show. I do a file page setup again. Go to pixels and we'll see that it's one half of the length of the screen, but it's a full 1080 going down the screen. These are settings you need to be aware of in order for your show to present properly on the screen. You may get away with not having to adjust anything that's 50 by 50, but if you're doing a full top or a full left or a full right or a full bottom, then you may have to adjust your slideshow page setup so that it displays properly on the screen. Always remember you can do more than just Google slide presentations to show content using live URLs that perhaps has data changing might be an option as well for you, in which case this is where this information will become more relevant in deciding the area of the screen and the size that you wish to display it in. These are some of the things you should consider when building your presentation for your screen. In part three, we'll discuss Chrome Sign Builder settings, what you can do with them. I hope you found this video 
informative.